For many classic TV fans, the names Michael Crawford and Michelle Dotris may ring a nostalgic bell, and for good reason. Both celebrated stars of the legendary British sitcom Some Mothers Do Have Them, with their performances as the bumbling, accident-prone Frank Spencer and his ever-patient wife Betty mesmerized audiences for years. Facts First UK presents Michael Crawford and Michelle Dotris confirm the rumors 40 years later. A Comic Cultural Touchstone some Mothers Do Have Them, for those who may need a refresher, was a British sitcom phenomenon that left an unforgettable mark on the television landscape. First aired on the BBC in 1973, the show ran for three seasons, until 1978, entrancing audiences with its blend of slapstick comedy and heartfelt moments. It starred Michael Crawford as the bumbling and ever-clumsy Frank Spencer and Michelle Dotris as his long-suffering and ceaselessly devoted wife, Betty. The story of the now-iconic series revolved around Frank's hapless endeavors, often resulting in chaotic situations, with Betty's enduring patience providing a charming contrast. At its peak, the show attracted a staggering 25 million viewers, and Frank's catchphrase, Ooh, Betty, became a cultural staple. Comedians and impersonators of the era embraced Frank's iconic look, wearing beige Max and berets to mimic the character. As such, the show's impact reached far beyond entertainment, influencing fashion, comedy style, and even everyday language. Written by the late Raymond Allen, who passed away in August of 2020, Some Mothers Do Have Them was a revolutionary sitcom for its time. Its combination of visual gags and witty writing set a new standard for sitcoms, with Crawford performing many of his own stunts. The show's appeal transcended generations, and its impact can still be found in British comedy today. While the original run concluded over four decades ago, Some Mothers Do Have Them continues to be enjoyed by fans old and new. The entire series is available for streaming on platforms like BBC iPlayer and BritBox, allowing a new generation to discover the magic of Frank and Betty's timeless adventures. After all these years, Michael Crawford and Michelle Dotris have recently reunited to share new details and hidden truths that will delight fans. An Emotional Reunion a golden era of British comedy was revisited when Michael Crawford and Michelle Dotris came together 50 years after the show first aired. Their reflections and memories were shared in a BBC4 documentary titled Michael Crawford and Michelle Dotris Remember Some Mothers Do Have Them, where they provided a touching and insightful look into their shared experiences. Michelle, 74, reminisced about the impersonations that followed their fame. She said of her co-star, You became a recluse. I remember so many of our impersonators on the day were going, Ooh, Betty, you couldn't go out. Michael, 81, responded with laughter, explaining how the fame impacted his daily life. The documentary captured a sense of nostalgia as the co-stars recalled their time on the show. Michael reminisced about the stunts and the fun they had and the pure joy of hearing the laughter they generated in the studio. When you heard it, you would whoop with joy. At the end, you were punching the air like you'd won the FA Cup, he said in the BBC4 interview. The show's casting process was also explored, with Michael recalling the moment Michelle walked into the audition room. It was not until the last person walked in the door I knew. As you walked in, we just looked at each other and we started started to giggle. We didn't read. There was a script, but we didn't touch it because we just talked and laughed," he shared in the same interview. Other fascinating insights were provided, including Michael's inspiration from silent movie icons. His description of his life during the height of the show's popularity likewise provided a personal touch, recounting his experiences living quote-unquote quietly in a council flat in Kensington, London. Even after 50 years, the connection between Michael and Michelle was readily apparent. A Lasting Bond the lasting bond between two co-stars can be a rare and precious thing. And for Michael Crawford and Michelle Dotris, that bond has only grown stronger with time. In a 2018 interview with the Daily Mail, Crawford opened up about their enduring friendship that has spanned over four decades. From the start, Crawford and Dotris seemed to have a connection that went far beyond the screen's reach. He revealed that they hit it off straight away, but that the relationship wasn't merely confined to the set. Crawford said, She's still one of my closest friends to to this day. We talk about once a week, and we meet up with our families, and she's a dear friend to all of us. It would never have been the success it was without the wonderful Michelle. That connection extended beyond their professional lives as the two have continued to chat every week 
Since the show ended, their friendship is a touching reminder of the genuine connections that can form in the world of entertainment. Crawford's career and personal life have seen numerous ups and downs, from his significant stage hits like Dance of the Vampires and Barnum, to his move to New Zealand to fight M.E., and his remarkable efforts to raise millions for the Sick Children's Trust. But throughout these endeavors, his friendship with Dotris has remained a constant. As fans continue to enjoy Some Mothers Do Have Them and celebrate the iconic characters of Frank and Betty, they can also take joy in knowing that the relationship between the two stars lives on, genuine and unbreakable, off the screen. Now let's talk about some other little-known facts about the show. A theme tune with a twist Believe it or not, the rhythm of the show's iconic theme song holds a unique secret. In fact, it's based on the show's very title, Some Mothers Do Have Them, translated into Morse code. This creative approach gives the tune its catchy and memorable beat. Michael Crawford's Stunt Extraordinaire Michael Crawford wasn't one to shy from danger. He performed all of his stunts, often donning gloves just before a daring act. While re-watching episodes of the show, if you notice gloves magically appearing on his hands, brace yourself for a thrilling stunt sequence. Naturally, this quirk also led to some apparent continuity errors, with the gloves appearing and disappearing. Laughter on set Filming the show was a humorous adventure in and of itself. Crawford's antics as Frank Spencer kept the cast and crew in stitches. Often scenes had to be shot repeatedly until the laughter died down. Even then, some takes were foiled by unexpected giggles in the background. The Final Series Writing Contrary to popular belief, the final series was penned by Raymond Allen. Michael Crawford had a hand in shaping the stories, but didn't actually write the scripts himself. Regardless of this fact, his influence undeniably added to the charm and wit of the show's final season. Casting What Ifs the role of Betty was sought after by several talented actresses. Elizabeth Sladen came close to landing it but ultimately lost out to Michelle Dotris. Not all was lost for Sladen as she was offered a guest role in the series. Also of note, Linda Hayden was another contender for Betty, reflecting the broad appeal and significance of the character even in the show's early development. The world of Some Mothers Do Have Them is filled with surprises, laughs, revelations, and stunts that still amaze us to this day. Whether you've been a fan since the beginning or just recently discovered Frank's antics, there's always something new to explore on this beloved show. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you have a favorite episode of the show or a little known fact you'd like to share? Let us know in the comments section below.